Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and what you're seeing is my backyard. Today is 17 April 2018. It's very cold. It's February cold. And this is an ongoing thing. Springtime is nowhere to be seen. As I said in a prior video, what they'll do is they claim you'll see six or seven days in advance, it's supposed to warm up, then we get there and it's still in the 30s and 40s. 40s if we're lucky. This is almost unprecedented. I've never seen anything like it. Yet these people continue to talk about global warming. So we're going to take a look at an article where these wackos are trying to claim that there was prior civilization and that they're the they caused the earth to warm up. The reason they're doing this is purely political. Because these people can't stand the idea that maybe things happen naturally. They can't stand that. Everything's to blame. They blame capitalism for everything. They blame America for everything. Blame, 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 blame. So sit back and relax. Go grab a cup of coffee. Because we're going to have fun. Well, I'm out of fact to Mars, and the scientists are finally coming around to the idea that there may have been another civilization on this planet, but the reason they're doing it uh, is for political purposes, not uh, scientific, as we'll see. Was there another civilization on Earth before humans? Scientists investigate. Yeah, I can't have a problem with my tongue, so bear with me. 56 million years ago, Earth warmed far above the temperatures we're experiencing today, and ice at the poles melted. Could the event the Paleocene, Eocene thermal maximum be evidence of global warming caused by an extinct civilization which ruled Earth before mankind? Sounds like kind of crackpot conspiracy theory found on ancient, an ancient alien UFO sites, but scientists have seriously investigated the idea. What they're uh, saying in essence is they're open to prove that there's another, another civilization so they can blame this warming on them. Professor Adam Frank of the University of Rochester, which is a hotbed of liberalism, writes in the Atlantic, which is a radical left-wing wacko site, that the investigation could offer insight into how to find alien life or about our impact on the planet. See, uh, I'm going to break this down. These people don't like it. There's no record of an ancient civilization and that means this warming would have had to uh, occur naturally. You see, carbon dioxide levels occurring these idiots stay at zero naturally because they're too stupid to understand that you have to have carbon dioxide for plant food. These people are too stupid to understand that. So, any carbon dioxide at all in the atmosphere, that's due to human uh, stuff. It's due to human activity. 
and it tried some crazy, almost as crazy as Trump tried some, tried some crazy to think that any changes on this planet could have happened naturally. Because to them, heat comes from carbon dioxide. They're too stupid to understand that heat comes from the sun. Believe me, they're too stupid to understand this. Frank writes, there's a conundrum here if an early, early species industrial activity is short-lived, we might, might not be able to see it. All right, Mr. Professor Wacko. Uh, then where did they go? What caused them to become extinct? <laughs> Adam Spike show mostly show the Earth's time scales for responding to whatever caused it, not necessarily time scale the cause. So it might take both dedicated and novel detection methods to find evidence of truly short-lived event in ancient sentiments. In other words, you're not explicitly looking for it, you not, might not see it. Researchers thought about what our civilization might leave behind and rocks for future civilizations to find, plastics in the ocean, evidence of fertilizer use, and most of all, evidence of fossil fuel use. You see, uh, the advanced civilizations crowd, uh, us people who think that there was a civilization before ours, think that they were probably much more advanced. Talking the Atlantis type advancement. There's another aspect to this, too, is that these wackos are saying, by default, they're saying that if the civilization used windmills and uh, solar panels and that type of thing, then we wouldn't find them because that wouldn't affect the climate, don't you know? So, Professor Wacko says our work also opened up the speculative possibility that plants might have fossil fuel driven cycles of civilization building and collapse. If civilization uses fossil fuels, climate change they trigger can lead to a large decrease in ocean oxygen levels. Uh, no, Mr. Wacko, if you understand anything about. Uh, basic science, uh, CO2 would encourage plant growth, which in turn causes uh, more O2 to be put into the atmosphere, especially from the oceans, Mr. Wacko. That's where we get most of our oxygen from, Mr. Wacko. These low oxygen levels called ocean anoxia help trigger the conditions needed for making fossil fuels like oil and coal in the first place. In this way, when civilization is still mice, might still see for new civilizations in the future. Unbelievable. So they're hinting at this uh, hypothetical uh, civilization gave us our fossil fuels to use. Alright. Here's the uh, article in the Atlantic. I'm not going to go over it. This is just a political stunt. They're not really members of the uh, crowd as I am. They're not members of the crowd who believe that there were prior civilizations and that they are very advanced. I kind of tend to believe that myself. I don't have a problem with it. But I do have a problem when they're taking political advantage. Uh, that I do have an issue with. If we're going to uh, try to detect ancient civilizations, it should done, be done through real science and not 
seeing if they were uh, capitalists. That's really what this is saying. We think there was an ancient, may have been an ancient civilization, and they were capitalists, and they destroyed the planet before. That's what they're saying. No, Mr. Wacko, they didn't. These are natural cycles, but you people are too steeped in your idiocy to understand that natural cycles occur. You're too stupid to understand this. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching.